As we debate here in Westminster, raining down hell on Gaza is Israel's fleet of F-35 fighter jets, planes described by their manufacturer as the most lethal fighter jet in the world. Israel has armed these jets with 2,000 pound bombs, explosives with a lethal radius of 365 metres. That is the equivalent of 58 football pitches. A recent UN report identified these bombs as have been, having been used in emblematic cases of indiscriminate and disproportionate attacks on Gaza, attacks that clearly violate international law. And Mr Deputy Speaker, I raise this because every F-35 fighter jet is made in part here in Britain in a deal estimated to be worth £368 million. This is just one example of Israel's use of British-made arms in its assault on Gaza that has killed over 38,000 people, disproportionately women and children. The legal threshold for these sales has, has clearly been met, so they should be banned. There is a clear risk British-made weapons might be used to commit or facilitate serious violations of international humanitarian law. Hence. In February, UN experts call for these sales to be immediately ended. And other countries have also suspended sales. Spain, Canada and the Netherlands, just to name a few, have suspended sales. And previous British governments have suspended sales too after far less Israeli assault. Margaret Thatcher in 1982, Tony Blair in 2002, Gordon Brown in 2009 and David Cameron in 2014. Today, the Palestinian people face death and destruction on a scale unlike anything they've ever faced before, but British-made arms are still being licensed to Israel and they're still being used to kill innocent people. So again, I say to our new government, it's time for us to uphold international law and end arms sales to Israel.